welcome back to our drama class yesterday we did scene 4 of act 3 when we came across the plan that Portia devised for herself in order to save Antonio from the clutches of Shylock. The beginning of the scene, we are seeing how Portia requests Lorenzo and Jessica to take care of her household till Bassanio and Portia come back to the house. Where is Basali? Where is Persia going? Persia says that she has made a vow, an oath. She has to spend some time in prayer. After handing over the charge to Jessica and Lorenzo, along with Nerissa, she shares her future plans. Before that, she sends Balthasar with a letter to. Dr. Bellario to get some help from him. Then she tells Nerissa her plans of dressing themselves as boys and going to Venice in order to save Antonio from the, from the cruel Shylock. There she explains what all things she will do in order to give an impression to others that she is an young boy. Today we shall take up the last scene of the act 3, that is, fifth scene. Scene 5 also takes place in Belmont, just like scene 4. Who are the characters in this scene? There are only three characters Lancelot, Gobo, Jessica, and Lorenzo. What sort of a scene is it? This is a scene on a lighter way, a scene meant for amusement. Because what is going to come next is Act 4, Scene 1, the trial scene, which is going to be a very serious one and going to be of great importance. So in order to prepare the audience for this trial scene, an amusement scene is introduced wherein lot of laughter is generated through the conversation between the characters. So that is this scene. Hope you will enjoy it. Don't take any of the scenes lightly. You may say that, oh what is there? This is only this old Gobo, Lancelot Gobo is speaking. It's not so important. There are times Questions have been asked from this scene too. And this is a playing on the word. It's more of pun, P-U-N, pun. Playing on the word, one word having two meanings. So if you don't pay attention, you may not follow. So pay attention and try to understand the content of it. So verses 1 to 15 is a conversation between Lancelot and Jessica. Who was Lancelot? Lancelot Tugawa was the servant of Shylock in his Shylock's house. When Shylock was cruel and doing a lot of illegal things and he was not paying him well, he finds Bassanio to be a better master. So he abandons Shylock and follows Bassanio. So when he was in Shylock's house, Shylock and Jessica, they know each other because Shail Lancelot was serving Jessica also. She is the daughter of Shylock. And therefore he has to make her happy. And there were occasions, especially when Jessica was planning to elope with Lorenzo. Lancelot helped her out in delivering letter to Lorenzo. So now this conversation, the beginning part 1 to 15, 
is a dialogue between these two Jessica and Lancelot Lancelot speaks first and he says that Jessica is going to be in danger Jessica's life is going to be in danger why? because of all the sins that is committed by Shylock the daddy of Jessica so it is based on the belief in the Bible, in the Old Testament there is a saying that is the sins of the fathers will be carried on carried over to the children that is if the fathers do daddy or mother father the parents do any anything wrong the consequences will be borne by their children the children will be punished for the offenses of the parents so based on that Lancelot is telling Jessica since Shylock has done lot of wrong things he has been very unkind to people he has cheated them because of all these reasons you are going to be in trouble when you die you will be condemned you will be punished there is a belief in the Christian Christian belief is that if you lead a good life you will be rewarded and you will be given heaven if you are doing all kind of wrong things you will be punished and you will be sent to hell so Lancelot is saying that Jessica is sure to go to hell not heaven because her daddy Shiloh has done plenty of wrong things in reply Jessica says you don't worry about it my husband will save me because he has made me a Christian this is again based on the teaching of Saint Paul Saint Paul was a disciple of Jesus Christ his teaching is that the husbands will deliver their wives from their transgressions whatever the wives do the wrong they will be delivered by their husbands who are Christians so he says since my husband is a Christian and he has made me a Christian he will take care of it you don't worry that's the first conversation then he says Lancelot says yes yes he should be blamed actually who? Lorenzo should be blamed because it is Lorenzo who made you a Christian then he says already we have we had enough Christians in Christianity in our religion we had already sufficient members and now he is going on adding number to it so he sees a danger by multiplying the number of Christians Lancelot foresees a danger what is the danger he says the cost of pork will go up more Christians will raise the price of hogs and pork may not be available H-O-G-S hog H-O-G-S hog means pigs pork Jewish people do not eat pork whereas Christians eat pork so he says by making many more people Christians what will happen the price of pork will go up the, it will raise the price of hogs and he says if we keep on increasing at a such a vast number what happens there will not be sufficient pork left so much so even to get a piece of pork even if we have money it may not be available so that is the danger of having too many Christians this is on a lighter way because Jewish people do not eat pork Christians eat so he is ridiculing Jessica then she says I shall complain to Lorenzo I will tell my husband about what you spoke just then she was saying like that Lorenzo 
come since. Then says, here is Lorenzo. Then Lorenzo tells Lancelot to prepare. First he says, what kind of conversation you are having? You seem to be having a secret conversation with my wife. So, Jessica says you don't worry about that. It is nothing to be worried because we are not in good terms with each other. Let's look at the word. Lorenzo says, I shall grow jealous of you shortly, Lancelot, if you thus I get my wife into corners. Wife into corners. Get my wife into corners, I will be feeling jealous of you. That means to have some secret talk. Whisper something secretly. So this kind of secret talk, I will be growing jealous of you. Then Jessica says, no, no, you don't worry about it. Because we are not on good terms. We have already quarreled with each other. Then he says, Jessica tells Lorenzo, he is trying to find fault with you for making me a Christian. And because of this, there will be a problem. The price of pork will be raised. Then Lorenzo tells Lancelot, Go in Sarah, go in Sir, bid them prepare for dinner. Bid means say. Okay, you are talking too much. Go inside and ask them to prepare dinner for us. So now there will be a conversation between Lorenzo and Lancelot. Jessica speaks only once. The rest of the time up to verses 17 to 48 will be conversation between Lorenzo and Lancelot. So there they will be playing with the words. As I said, pun, P-U-N, pun. That is they use words having two different meanings. One means one thing, another means something else. Same word, same spelling, but different meaning. So you have to pay attention to understand this. What are the words used? So about preparation, the whole conversation is about preparation of dinner. Preparation of dinner. The whole conversation is about preparing dinner and laying the table and arranging food. What is the meaning of lay the table? Lay the table means to clean the table and arrange plates, spoon, fork, knife, etc. So that is called laying the table. L A Y I N G. To lay the table means to clean and arrange plate, spoon, fork, napkin, etc. So that is called laying the table. Normally the servants lay the table for the masters before they come for the dinner. Once they lay the table and keep all the food items they bring and arrange it, then the masters will come to dine. So the whole conversation is about that. So now when uh, Lorenzo asks him to go inside and arrange for the food, he says, that is done sir, they have all stomachs. He says, they have all stomachs. So they have all stomachs. It has got two different meanings. It can mean appetizer, or it can mean digestions. They are, they have all stomachs means they are all hungry. They all have stomach means they all are hungry. So that is a one meaning. So they are all hungry. So the word stomach has got one meaning is appetite, other thing is digestion. So but they are all connected. When you have proper digestion, you have great appetite. When you have great appetite, you feel hungry and feel like eating. So, 
hungry you eat and there is appetite no digestion if you have proper digestion then you have appetite when you have appetite you feel like eating so you are hungry so they have all stomach smith they are all hungry that's what lancelot is telling lorenzo Lorenzo, go, goodly lord, what a bit snapper are you? Then bid them prepare dinner. Bit snapper is comedian. What a comedian you are! Please ask them to prepare dinner for us. Lancelot, that is done to sir. Only cover is the word. So now he is placed on the word cover. He says cover is the word. Just say cover and it will be done. See, it has got two different meanings. Cover as one meaning is to arrange plates. That is laying the table, I already told you. Another meaning is put on hat. Put on a hat. If you go to big hotels and you will find the, those who serve at table, the table boy or table girl and the waiters, they put on caps and serve. But when at home, when they are serving to masters, the servants don't put on cap because they have to be with a bare head. So the two different meanings are arranged plates. That is late table is one, another one is put on hat. So now La La Lorenzo speaks, ask them to arrange for dinner. He means ask them to arrange place. Because Lancelot says the dinner is ready and everybody is hungry. If they are hungry, then ask them to lay the table, arrange the place. But Lancelot takes the other meaning and he says put on hat. He is taking that meaning and he says that is done to say cover is the word. Will you cover then sir? That means Lorenzo, so Lorenzo is asking, will you lay the table then? Not so, sir, neither. I know my duty. I know my duty means, I know what I should do. I am only your servant, you are the master. In front of you, I will not put on the hat. Actually, Lorenzo is saying, then will you please lay the table? He says, no, I shall not put on the cap. Cap, he says. Lorenzo, yet more quarreling with occasion. Yet more quarreling with occasion. That's important. That is, you keep using words whether they are suitable or not. You keep using words whether they are suitable for the occasion or not. Yet more quarreling with occasion. Wilt thou show the whole wealth of thy wit in an instant? You seem to be a comedian. You are a witty man. You are creating humor. You know a lot of words, sir. But you do not know where to use and what occasion to use the right word. So, will you, you are trying to expose all your knowledge to me by using various words in the wrong place. I pray thee, I request you, understand a plain man in his plain meanings. Uh -huh. Understand a plain man means ordinary man in ordinary meaning. What an ordinary man, what he speaks and what he understands. You take the words in the plain sense, ordinary sense. You are trying to show your mastery over language and confusing. Don't do that. Just take the ordinary meal. So when I say cover means it is laying the table. When I say stomach, that is means hunger. So that's what uh, Lorenzo is telling Lancelot. I pray thee understand a plain man in his plain meaning. Go to thy fellows, bid them cover the table, serve in the meat 
and we will come into dinner. As in the lawyer, lay the table and serve the meat in the plate. Lancelot, for the table, that is as far as food is concerned, sir, it shall be served in. For the meat, sir, it shall be covered. For your coming in to dinner, sir, why let it be as humorous and conceits shall govern. So again he is using the table shall be covered and the meat served. That is the actual thing. That's what the Lawrence will meant. You shall then, okay, then you shall cover the table and serve the meat. That is, you lay the table and serve the meat in the plate. But when Lancelot speaks, he changes, interchanges. He says, the table shall be served and meat shall be covered. So he is playing on the word. So that is the end of a conversation with Lancelot. When Lancelot goes inside, Lorenzo makes a comment on him. Comment on Lancelot and people like him. What does Lorenzo say? Oh dear discretion, how his words are suited. The fool hath planted in his memory an army of good work, good words. And I do know a many fools that stand in better place garnished like him that for a tricky, tricky word defy the manner, matter. So now he is making a general conclusion. Lorenzo is making a conclusion born out of his experience with Lancer. He says, oh dear discretion. What is discretion? Discretion is the ability to choose the right thing in the right occasion. Right thing in the right occasion. Right time. So, oh discretion. That is, oh the ability to choose the right things in the right time. How his words are suited. So, at least Lancelot knows a lot of words. His mastery over cavalry is very high. He has mastered plenty of words. The only problem with him is, he does not know which word to use and when to use. Then Lorenzo says, it is with so many people who are holding higher positions. Lancelot is only a servant, a cook. So, if he does not know what is discretion, which word to use, when, doesn't matter. But there are so many people who are holding big offices, they too know so many words and they do not know when to use it. And by their using it wrongly, they confuse people. So there are many who confuse or trouble others as they lack discretion. This is the summary of uh, the last part. That is, uh, after lunch, after Lancelot leaves, Lorenzo makes a comments. The summary of it is this. There are many people who confuse or trouble others as they lack discretion. They do not know which word to use and when to use it and where to use it. As a result, they create confusion and trouble to others. That's the end of that part. Now we will go to the next section in the same scene. Now Lancelot is no more there in the conversation. Only Jessica and Lorenzo. So Lorenzo asked Jessica, How cheerest thou, Jessica? How happy are you? Are you happy? Are you okay? And now, good, sweet, say the, say the opinion, how does thou like the Lord Bassanio's wife? How do you like Bassanio's wife? Who is Bassanio's wife? Portia. So it is an opinion poll on Portia. 
verses 49 to 70 is an opinion poll on Persia. How do you like Persia or what is your opinion about Persia and her behavior or her attitude? Then Jessica answers saying, past all expressing, past all expressing, that is beyond all expressions. I cannot express it, I cannot explain it. Past all expressing is Persia. She is so great, so magnanimous, so full of great qualities that I cannot even express it. It is very meet, very fitting. The Lord Basari will live an upright life. So she says, I wish that Lord Basani leads an appropriate life because he has got such a wonderful wife. For because having such a blessing in his lady, he finds the joys of heaven here on earth. So he must be able to find happiness on this earth living with such a noble woman as Persia. In case he does not find happiness here on earth, being with Persia, he will never find happiness in heaven. And she says, why? Because on going to heaven, if the gods were to have a wager, if they have a bet, kind of game, and they say, we'll have a bet, a wager. And they are going to weigh Persia, two women. There's a balance is there, one side one woman, other side of the balance another woman. If they are trying to weigh it and see who weighs more, Jessica says, of course, Persia will weigh much, much higher than the other woman. Therefore, they have to put something else in between. Something has to be added to the other woman. Otherwise, the equal weights will not be maintained. And she concludes saying, For the poor rude world hath not her fellow. The poor world hath not her fellow means no equals. There is nobody equal to Persia. Persia is the highest or the greatest in quality and in virtues. There is nobody to challenge her, nobody to compare with Persia. Persia is far beyond every other woman in her qualities. So that is, what, that is the opinion of her. Jessica about Persia. So she, she says, I can't even express it. Then she tries to express it through an example saying that she is the highly valued woman. As regards values, there is nobody to overtake here. Then Lorenzo says, even such a husband as thou of me as she is for a wife. That is, Lorenzo is saying, okay, you said that Persia is the best wife. Having all the qualities a wife should have. And I tell you, I am a husband, your husband, that is myself, also in the same way, the best husband a wife can have. Jessica, nay, but ask my opinion too of that. Ah, don't say, don't, you should not say that you are the best husband. I am the wife. You ask me and get my opinion about you. Lorenzo, I will anon first let us go to dinner. I will anon means, anon means soon. Soon I will ask. First let us go to dinner. First let us have dinner. After that I will ask your opinion. Jessica. Nay, no. Let me praise you while I have a stomach. Again playing on the word. Stomach has got two different meanings. One is inclination, a desire to praise. Another one is appetite for food, a desire to eat. So, 
One is a desire to praise and one is a desire to eat, appetite. So, Jessica says, no, 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 no. Not after dinner. Let me praise you while I have a desire to praise you. That's one, one meaning. Another one is, no, no, no. Pray, I will praise you when I have a stomach, when I have an appetite for food. It's playing on the word. Lorenzo, no, pray thee, let you serve for table talk. No, 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 not now. We will go for a meal. Let it be served as a table talk means we shall talk it over at the table. Then, howsoever thou speakest, that means however you speak, among other things, I shall digest it. And on, on. We shall not speak now. We shall speak at the table as part of the table talk. Why? So that whatever you speak, how much you speak, whatever you speak, I shall digest it. Again, digest has two different meanings. One meaning of digest here are biology students, you know it. Digest one meaning is to process the food. To process the food. Another one is to understand information. First one is to process food so that the body can absorb it. That's one meaning. Another meaning to understand an information. To understand an information so that mind can absorb it. So there are two different meanings. So he says we shall go to the table, at the table we shall talk all these things, whatever you want to talk, so that I shall digest it. It can mean either I shall digest the food or it can mean I shall try to understand whatever you speak of me. And Jessica replies, well, I will set you forth. To set somebody forth, it has also got two meanings. To set somebody forth means Praise somebody for their qualities. Praise somebody for their qualities. That's one meaning. Another meaning is to put you, put somebody in their position or place. To put somebody in their position or place. So Jessica answers, well, I will set you forth means, it can also, it can mean, yes, I shall praise your qualities at the table. Or it can also mean, I will set you Fourth means, I will put you in the right place, in the proper place. That means, I will give you fitting answers or fitting opinion about you. So the whole uh, scene is uh, playing on the words. So if you do not know the language well, you will find it difficult. Some of you may not know English so well. Those students may find it difficult to follow because... Uh, there are a few words used with two meanings and they are going to have trying to generate some humor out of it. As part of your homework, complete the assignments given in your workbook. Thank you. All the best.